Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good people of the internet, ladies and gentlemen, everything and everything in between, welcome to a Crusader Kings 3 playthrough here on the channel. I've been looking to do this for some time. Crusader Kings 3 is an amazing game. If you're not uh, familiar with it, you can literally pretty much become whatever, whoever you want to become. Do whatever you want to do. Uh, within reason, of course, within the game mechanics, and um, change the course of history. Now, a couple of things we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to do this off screen. We're going to change the game rules here. Uh, we're going to do the Iron Man enabled. The game is saved automatically. Switching characters or playing multiplayer is not allowed, so you can't hop around to get the best character you can. Uh, achievements say that they're not available for some reason, but, um, we're not going to go above the character creation points limit. We're going to pretend that achievements are available. Uh, a couple of things though. I said I was going to do this off screen, but I might as well show you what I'm doing here. Everything's going to stay on default. Um, except for somewhere down here. Uh, no end date. Uh, generate families on. Same-sex relations is default. Same-sex marriage default. You know, the times are what they are. Sexuality distribution. Heterosexuality is going to be dominant. Okay. The Hungarian migration is going to be historical. So the AI will attempt to start the Hungarian migration between 890 and 910. Scandinavian Adventurers, I'd turn this down to rare instead of a, occasional, which is the um, the game default. And maybe that's why. Maybe that's why achievements are off, because I'm changing this. Um, but we're going to have it on rare. Because these guys can really mess people up. And what this what this is, Scandinavian Adventurers, is basically 9,000 elite... Viking soldiers show up out of nowhere, spawned out of nowhere, and they just start demolishing people. And that's pretty much it. Um, the fall of Al and Andalus, historical timing. The dissolution faction is only activated after the year 1020 for the kingdom of Al Andalus. The Huns. Mongol invasion. Here we go. The Mongols will invade around the year 1200. We'll do default. Yeah. So around the year 1200, the Mongol invasion is going to happen. There's no end date for this playthrough. We're just going to go until it makes sense to stop. And we're actually going to uh, create our own custom ruler. You can see the map here. We've got uh, you know, Scandinavia. We've got the British Isles. France, we've got Africa down here, we've got the Middle East, we've got uh, Asia, Russia, all of these things, uh, Germany's in here somewhere, uh, Italy, the Byzantine Empire's there. We are going to start down here in, in Africa, actually. I did a couple of test runs. The reason I did that was to see if it was realistic to do this. We're going to start at the crew chiefdom level. Yeah, chiefdom of crew, the county. Um, I'm not sure that we're ruled by anyone. But we're going to make our own custom ruler. So we're going to be on the coastline. We're going to have a lot of neighbors. We're surrounded by potential enemies. Ghana up here is massive and very terrifying. But we're going to start here. Create your own ruler. We're going to go through this. Um, I'll skip ahead a little bit, I think, when I start uh, editing the body structure. But here we're going to do uh, heterosexual. We're going to be a female. And our culture is going to be a con. Now the reason we're going to do this 
is you see the traditions over here is well is matriarchal which means female leaders and it's going to be uh, your next generation who takes over is going to be uh, female preference for the next ruler in line for your holdings mystical ancestors bush hunting and parochialism we have we will know the qua language martial is going to be equal so we can have male or female soldiers which is going to be great so a con it is what this also means unfortunately is we're going to have to convert the culture of crew right away our character name is going to be Kakra. I think Kakra would be good. Okay, let's do that. Uh, the Dynasty. We're going to do Yunali Dynasty. The sea brings life and death. And we're going to randomize our thing here until we find something cool. We'll just have to, we'll just have to go. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then the Chiefdom of Crew. Now that looks... Okay, there we go. We'll do uh, much the same thing that we did before. Yep, there we go. I like the red this time. That's good. All right, we're going to go through and... This is first what we're going to do is we're going to change the appearance and I'm going to take all this stuff down. We'll stay um, under the achievement limit of 400, even though the achievements aren't going to work. Actually, now it says achievements are available. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll change the appearance first. All right. This is what we've come up with. And, um, but we're not going to start off 25 years old. Okay. We're going to actually start off as a one-year-old child. The reason for this is it brings our customization points way down. And so we can get some good starting traits that we really want. The first one we want is genius. By far, we definitely want genius. Uh, we want handsome, but we're probably not going to get that. We want to get comely. And we want to get uh, robust if possible? No. Actually, maybe we can because we're going to bring all this stuff down as well. No, it doesn't look like it. 402. Mm. What can we give ourselves? It's not going to be too bad in the negative. Okay. We'll, um, we'll take hail instead. We've got a little bit going on here. Play with. We've got, let's see, 58 points. Now, can we do handsome? Yeah. So we can do handsome there. And we'll just uh, up some of this stuff here. Now, I'm not sure what personality type that our friend here is going to become. Uh, but we're going to... We're going to want a little bit more. Well, no, maybe not. Let's get everything to five. And then, let's see, diplomacy is up. Let's try... I don't know. I don't know what she's going to be. Let's do... Hmm. Dang. Really? Really? Wow. Okay. Hmm. Be learning then. 399 out of 400. Not bad. Uh, we're going to say this is done. So this is uh, Kakra. Countess Kakra Unali of the Ch Chiefdom of Crew. One years old. Uh, she is a genius. She is hale and handsome or pretty. And uh, we're going to get started.
overwrite the Africa playthrough, our test playthrough. Here we go. So we're not going to have a um, player error right away. But we can strengthen the bloodline. Strong blood. It gives us a small health boost. Chance of inheriting good congenital traits up 40%. Chance of new good congenital traits up 400%. And that is amazing. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Strength and bloodline. The strength of Inali. For generations, our dynasty has been known for the strength of its blood. Vigor, beauty, and intellect are all attributes associated with the Inali name. My own excellence can confirm this. All of our dynasty's best qualities in one perfect individual. My name and my gifts will live on through my descendants for centuries to come. We have a bright future ahead. And we gain the nickname the Blood Mother. <laughs> there we go. So there's a lot of house cleaning work that needs to be done right away. First things first, let's check out our court. A really good chancellor. Terrible marshal. Decent spy master, terrible steward, and a, an absolutely horrendous court shaman. So the first thing we want to do, go into our court. Noah is our guest. Um, insightful thinker. Not bad. We're not going to bring you in, though. What we want to do is go through our courtiers, 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 court, courtier. I don't know how to say it. Go through our court and marry them off. Uh, but while the females, we're going to do matrilineal marriage, bring in men who have high prowess. We're probably going to look for a uh, high learning right away, though. So matrilineal. We're going to do uh, learning. This guy has 13. He's okay. He's in our court. So we actually have somebody who is the best of our diplomatic range to be our new shaman. So we're going to go and put him in there now. Uh, wait a minute. He's craven. Hmm. So we're going to do this guy. There you go. Congratulations. And she is going to marry... We don't need that. We need a steward and a marshal, so let's do marshal. 16 marshal, he's, but he's craven. Hmm. He has 12 marshal, 7 prowess. He's our steward. <laughs> no! Okay, this guy, brave, impatient, shy. 12 prowess, he's also a siege expert, military engineer. I think we're bringing him in. We're bringing in Kwaku to marry um, Gorp, Gorpu matrilineally. So we're going to keep her here, bring him in. Now we move on to Yinplu, the treacherous lackey. She is Midas touched. Wow. We're going to uh, matrilineal marry. We're going to look for stewardship. This guy has 10. He's also craven. Okay, this guy, okay, he's he's got the right culture. No, he doesn't have the right culture, but we'll, we'll fix that. So he's 28. He's charismatic negotiator, calm, stubborn, and chaste. That's fine. We just want him for his stewardship. So we're going to bring him in matrilineally. And you kind of get the idea what I'm going at here. Uh, we'll do one more. Um, our spy master. We will sort by prowess. This is what we're going to do most of the time. Matrilineal. And this guy looks really promising. He's, unfortunately, he's craven. He also has the trait Kale. So, he only has seven prowess, but it's probably better than what we have. He's a decent spy mess, so they'll get along great. We're going to bring him in. Send off that proposal. So you kind of get an idea of what we're going for here. And 
pretty much it. We're going to keep doing that. Do it off, uh, off camera here. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, we've got done doing that. We're going to see all the marriage proposal acceptance coming in here. And once all this stuff goes through, we're going to check out our, our council again. So we got the best guy here. Probably not going to find a better chancellor. No, no chance. Steward. Uh, definitely want a better steward. Not by much, though. That's okay. Bring him in. Marshall must be better. <laughs> There's got to be a better Marshall. Yep. There we go. And Spymaster, I think she is the best. Yes. So, we got our court situated. We're letting time burn on here because we don't really have too much to do right now. We do need to go after a court physician, so we're going to search for a physician. And we're, uh, we're not going to recruit a jungle specialist. It costs 15 and 150. I want to save our prestige for now. But we're definitely going to be doing that soon. So these are the candidates for... Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to recruit this guy. Because he's really, really good. At Marshall. So we're going to... Oh, I can't. Okay, so so we're gonna recruit him as our as our um, physician, just so we have him. <laughs> because look at this guy. Boom, perfect. First thing we want to do actually is is start re uh, promoting culture. I'm trying to explain what I'm doing um, and why I'm doing it, in case people haven't really. You know, I've been into this game. Kind of interested, kind of curious what it's all about. Well, there you go. Uh, a priest does not endorse us. Since we're a child, we can't sway. we got to be at least 12 years old. So, that's, it's just going to have to be like that. But what we can do is, is turn our chancellor onto domestic affairs. Uh, matter of fact... No, we don't have any vassals, so that's pointless. I thought it would help with these guys, but they're not vassals, so that's actually pointless. Uh, the next thing we want to do, check out the duchies. So this right here, all of this is the crew duchy. We want to get control of that, so we got to look at these guys here. 540 soldiers, we have 769, we could take them right now. And 534, we could take them as well, but do they have any allies? No. Let's go ahead and pause. Let's look at this. We've got some bush hunting bush hunters in here. We've got some champions. We want to forbid our chancellor. I kind of want to forbid this guy because he's the um, the physician right now. Uh, but he's he's really good. He's our marshal. Actually, we're gonna forbid him from fighting in the wars. He's just gonna lead the battles. Spy master forbid. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, these guys are really, really good. They're <clears throat> really good in the, in the jungle, in the forest, and in hills. So we're just going to increase them by one. We're going to let them fill up a little bit. I think we get like 10 a month, 20 a month. Good. And then we're going to go smash, I think, Balbo. These guys right here. And while we're waiting on our troops to amass, I'll just mention this. That uh, I'm going to try to keep these episodes to about an hour in length. And look at that. Bobo, Baobo is actually going off to raid right now. So they are screwed. <laughs> they are totally screwed, man. Because we're going to just drop it on their head as soon as they leave. Yep, there we go. 809. Hello, Baobo. Um, I'm here to come take your county. I don't think they can stop us even if they want to. We're going to go for it. Raise everybody here. Go straight to the capital. Let's go. Who's who's in command? A knight. His, it's our marshal's in command. No, wait. Wait a minute. That's a female. Nice. Awesome. So they came back. 
No, they didn't come back. <laughs> they got into a fight trying to raid that place, so they are just... They're literally totally screwed. They made the biggest mistake ever. They left their territory unguarded, went off to raid. They got destroyed trying to raid as well. So they have 357 troops left over. And they can't raise anymore because they only have one county. If they wanted to raise more soldiers, it would have to be right here on this on their capital city. Or, or their capital tribe location. And since I'm standing there, they can't do that. So 357 is the max they're going to have for this fight. Undoubtedly, they're going to come and try to fight. Because they have to. Uh, if I take this, then they have nothing. They have nothing to fall back on. So I'm going to have four months left on the siege. We'll get 15 uh, gold for taking the city. And um, it'll be great. Looking forward to it. Our first conquest. As a, uh, as a one-year-old, I think I'm, we're still one. No, we're two now. <laughs> Our first conquest as a two-year-old. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we took a prisoner. Oh, to the fair, uh, to the fair Nana Kakra of Kru. I've been corresponding with your chancellor, Kamui, and I must say that I've come to see you in a new light. Perhaps you were even someone that I would one day would be proud to call my friend. Signed, Nanalami of Garibo. Garibo's over here. is our neighbor. Uh, similar troop size. Okay. And we took this guy's son, an heir. So we can maybe ransom this guy. He doesn't quite have enough. I think we're just going to take the win because captured air is 50% and oh, full occupation is 100%. So we don't need this guy. We can ransom him off. So let's go ahead and do that. Get our 33 gold. And then we'll end the war. Force our demands. You gain the contested titles. You gain 75 fame. And... Um, they lose everything. It's now mine. I should have read that, sorry. So now we have um, a third county. We need, uh, actually, there's no control loss here. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Oh, maybe uh, I need to unpause it first. Yeah. Yeah. When you take over a county, the county control is pretty low. You can send your marshal to go um, you know, increase control in county. Same thing we're doing with our steward, promoting culture. You just pick a county. They go and they do that thing. Very nice. Our next conquest is going to be Debris. We're going to go ahead and do that now before they have a chance to get any more soldiers. Because we don't want them to have any chance to resist us. There's a reaver. Hmm. We've got a jungle stalker. Their their marshal's only six. Guy's an open train expert. Actually, this guy's really good. He's craving. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, we'll leave it as is um, with this commander in place. He is extremely good. Uh, if we could have a female marshal, she would be in there. She's got 19 marshal ability. Only five prowess, but that's, I mean, she's, she would be commanding the army, which is what she's doing now. Which is what we need her to do, for sure. Uh, we're being raided. 
over here. And that really sucks, but uh, it is what it is. So we gained 70 fame and 18% war score for defeating their army. Our bush hunters killed 87. We lost 34 of them. Champions killed 70, lost 0. Olivia's killed 49, lost 151. Lost in thought. My chancellor, Camui, tells me I should play with the other children. But they're so noisy. It has to be quiet so I can hear my thoughts. There's so much to think about. We get pensive. Stewardship and learning go up. Language scheme power, 50%. Kraka, Kakra is often lost in thought trying to understand the world around her. She often relies on books and systems to make sense of things. There's one thing I forgot to do as well. We need someone to educate us. And that is going to be... Start this again. So they want to give us... The Ananti, who's craven. I think the shaman is the one, because he has an extremely good... He's a mastermind philosopher, so... I want the shaman to do it. There we go. That's just going to help our education along our upbringing. And... Since we're three now, we can see what we're going to be very, very good at and very, very bad at. So we're going to be bad at intrigue. Pensive children struggle with an intrigue education. Very good at learning. Very good at stewardship. I think learning is what we're going to do. And we get learning plus one since that's our focus. All right, what are our stats looking like so far? Wow, really, really good for a three-year-old. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so these guys are going to be coming back around. I don't know where they're going over here for. But it's the same story with these guys. They cannot possibly raise more soldiers because we're standing on their only tribal holding. No, they just can't do it. Okay, coming back for more. Oh, here they come. Very soon, Debrew shall be ours. Yeah, this guy's coming back for more. He's going to raid two places, and there's nothing I can really do to stop him because I have. I don't have very many soldiers. Our champion, Kwaku, was only by an enemy soldier. Wow. Okay, buddy. Commander Deshanti was something. We wounded that person. Alright. Um, 26 war score. 44 fame. Being raided again. They're just taking everything. That sucks real bad. I'm not too happy about that. 20 days left. Not endorsed by a court shaman. Whatever, man. All right. Prisoner taken to siege. Captured Nana Montes, court shaman. Necroma. An albino. Oh, a renowned physician. So what we're going to do here is negotiate the release of this person. We're going to recruit them. And again, we cook. Actually, we're not. Yeah, we are. We're going to recruit them and put them as our core physician. Yep. I have no choice. Core physician. There you go. Boom. It's going to cost us 200 um, prestige. I have to, though. They're extremely good at what they do. They hate us. They're extremely good at what they do. So, ooh, look at this guy. 
Marshall of 20? Yeah, I think so. That's excellent. We'll do matrilineal marriage again so that... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot to end the war. It's been unpaused this whole time. Alright, whatever. Enemy combatants captured the steward. He's okay. I'm just going to gain a hook on him. Let him go. And we're going to end the war once that happens. Yeah. Kind of forgot to do that. Wait. I can't kill this guy? I'm standing on top of him. We're above our domain limit now. Kind of sucks. But I think it'll be okay for now because I think as we get older, we'll get more uh, skills in stewardship. Actually, I already have seven in stewardship. Uh, so we have one domain limit. So that will eventually increase our domain limit to back to four and we can just kind of sit here with these four uh, counties now we have we're completely in control of the duchy of crew now so it should tell us you can create the duchy of crew but it's going to cost us money 125 gold in fact gives us a bunch of prestige so we're going to do that as soon as we can um but for now we're just chilling. We're just chilling, man. Because we have what we want. That was my goal to start this out. Gain control of this county. Get our power up a little bit. We're up to 811 or 866 potential uh, troops. 200 bush hunters and five champions. It would be nice to get our champion count up. But it doesn't look like we're going to have a martial education. Uh, we don't have a martial affinity as well. So we kind of have to roll with the punches here. Do what we can. Uh, if I didn't get martial, I was hoping for intrigue. If I'm going to be honest. So it is what it is, man. <laughs> It is what it is. All right. So we're coming up on the last 10 minutes of the episode here. And I think our... We started off okay. We started off fine. I don't think I'm going to do anything else right now. I might do us some raiding. Let's see what kind of stuff we have going on here. Nothing there. Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing there. I think everybody's pretty much been raided already. I mean, that's kind of the first thing everybody does in these playthroughs is start raiding everybody. And they've got 1,200 soldiers. We couldn't possibly raid them even if we wanted to. Yeah. And this is the guy that kind of liked us. Um, yeah, anybody that's, that's like kind of low soldier count has been raided okay they, they've gotten they got got already so we're gonna have to let that go seek aid of the spirits hmm. i don't know what that does attempt to contact the spirits i don't know i'm not sure what that's all about So, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, low control, county corruption, chieftain of debris, which we just took. Gained thieves guild for 10 years. County corruption, a thieves guild is operating freely in this county. Holding taxes are down 10%. Development growth down 80%. We're not getting any taxes out of them anyway. Because of the low control. That'll just have to be fixed in time. 
not much else we can do about that right now. And, hmm. yeah, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I thank you very much for tuning in, sharing some of your most valuable time with me here on the channel. And if you liked this video, if you liked Crusader Kings 3, you want to see more, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And if you have any suggestions on where we go from here. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can go ahead and do so. It's free to do. And it just lets me know that uh, you appreciated what I did today. And I appreciate you for that. For everybody else who has already subscribed, thank you so much for sticking around. And we will see you next time. Thank you.